Hi, Jack again, RoadsterCycle.com. Uh, continuing on on the Mustang, the 2006 Mustang build. Uh, before I start though, before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to a few people that have helped me out along the way building my cars. Uh, Nate at AEM EV uh, has helped me tremendously, great guy. Uh, the guys at uh, Electric GT, th those are the batteries I'm running this, team, this time, the Ox batteries. Traction Concepts, Traction Concepts is actually a sponsor. Uh, for my videos and stuff, the Pods Attraction Union unit that they uh, build uh, for the Teslas and a lot of other cars too, but they've done uh, my last one in my uh, sport motor uh, Mustang. I ran a Traction Concepts uh, Posi in it, um, and now in the new Model 3, I'm running a Traction Concept Posi Traction in it too. But I want to say thank you to those guys, I want to say thank you to all the guys on YouTube that the videos I've watched that have helped me along the way over the years to get to this point to, you know, be able to build electric cars and hopefully give people enjoyment. Uh, we all know that acceleration now is uh, very addicting, and that's probably why I'm addicted to acceleration as far as that goes. So that's why electric cars um, is what I do now. Um, other than that, open inverter. Uh, dot org. That's a great source of information. DIY electric uh, car form. That's another great source of information. Um, and that there's probably more, but I can't think about them right now, or can't think of what they are right now. So I just want to say thank you to all these people, and I really appreciate them. And that's it. So here we go. Off to the new videos. Oh, and one other thing. Shaky video. I'm really sorry, but a lot of this video in these future video clips you'll see I, I had shaky video and I apologize, but I don't have a video uh, camera person. So I'm always like doing the video in between building something. So it seems like I'm always in a hurry to shoot some video for you guys. So please forgive me for the shaky video. Thanks. Hey, hi everybody. This is Jack again, RoadsterCycle.com. And good news today, I got my uh, Traction Concepts uh, set up back from them. I sent them my differential for them to install the uh, Posi unit or the limited slip differential into it. So I got that back today. So today is going to be a put the differential back into the Model 3 uh, motor and case. And that's something, you know, you can always see it being taken apart on YouTube and stuff like that. But... I have not seen anybody put one back together yet. So that's what I'm going to accomplish today is putting the uh, gear set and everything back into the differential. And I'll give you a shot of the gear set here in one second. So this is the gear set that I sent in. And inside here, where my thumb is at, that is the Traction Concepts um, LSD or Limited Slip Differential that goes inside there to give you limited slip. And I had one on the uh, Sport uh, Tesla Model S motor in the uh, other Mustang and it worked great. So they helped me out. They, uh, I sent it to them. They gave it to me to try uh, again uh, in this one and I think it's the first Model 3 they've done. So I'm pretty excited about getting this in and getting it going. So anyway, so that, that's the unit right there that goes in there. and. Uh, again, thanks to Traction Concepts for uh, helping me out with this and being part of this build on the uh, Mustang Model 3 project. All right, and now I'm going to shut off and get some stuff together. i got to build a little mount to hold the motor up, and then I'll show you guys how to put it back together. Okay, here's the setup. Cup Boy's uh, five-gallon pan to put the motor in, which I know. I was going to build a nice stand and everything like that, but it like, takes a lot of time. So, uh, so I got the gears in. It was just a matter of getting this lined up with the gears and getting this centered and put in. This is a real bummer because that rotor's a magnet in there and it keeps trying to hold it off to the side. So you really have to force it to get it in the middle then finally and it just pops in. Real nice, but whew, that was a job. Sorry I didn't video the whole thing, but man, I was like in the middle of a fight. It almost, it almost won. 
So anyway, so that's in. Now it's a matter of getting everything, the top case lined up. You got to get this oil uh, into the hole correctly. There's a couple more pins here that got to go in. So you got to be very careful putting the top on. So I'll do that and get it buttoned up and I'll show you the end product. Like I said, I wish I could have showed you getting the gears together, but it's kind of, it took me a long time and just to have the camera running while you guys saw me fiddle and wiggle and everything like that just didn't seem like a uh, a good waste of uh, film. Huh. But anyway, so there you go. And I'll get her put it back together and get the top on. Okay, the cover's on. One thing I want to tell you guys or have you be aware of, I had taken this cover off, uh, what do you call it, after the fact, and putting it back on, the one bearing that goes to the motor, okay, it's kind of spring-loaded. So there's a washer on there underneath this plate. I should have showed you before, but I wasn't thinking. I was too busy. So there, it's spring-loaded. So you need to take, and what I did is I cleaned it real good then put some uh, assembly lube on it to hold it in place and then put the cover on and then screw these down nice nice and easy so it pull it down and push the uh, the bearing onto uh, the shaft correctly because it is spring-loaded I didn't know that before but I could push it down and it was spring-loaded so yeah push it down make sure that the washer stays uh, straight on the bearing that's why I put grease on it because if it goes off to the side and you go to tighten it down you could break your casting here so that's something to be aware of but anyway it's back together traction concept uh, setups inside so I'm pretty excited now we're moving along all right till next time thanks